Hi guys, I'm um, back into a video recording on using Cameo. Like when to use Cameo, how to use Cameo. Again, um, when you go to do any of this, you have to make sure you're syncing on. Right? So that sync being on um, allows you to. I'm trying to get my little highlight. That sync being on allows you to access everything in your suite. Some of you will have all the add-ons next to your address bar. Mine's in this little eye that you click up here. And when you click that, you can see the different add-ons that you have. And then you have Kimmy available. Um, now, usually for me, what you'll be doing is, and I'm going to go back into my classwork here, and I'll pull this up. Um, you have your first day classwork assignment. So when you click on a PDF, and this is when you use Cameo. Um, and guys, the, the other thing too is when you get to um, classroom, and I'll talk about this when you come online in person. When you get to classroom, everything's slow. Uh, the internet only has so much bandwidth, and every school, everywhere, in the country is doing some form of remote hybrid online learning. Only ones that aren't are the ones that are small enough to spread your students apart in your classroom and have them all hundred percent present. Okay, so small rural district districts, small private schools, they may not be using the internet. So I've opened up a PDF. So any file that has the .pdf extension I clicked on it in my classroom and you get the preview mode and then it says open with or you've got this little button over here that says open in with KME. If this does not show up, if you don't have everything synced, you might be an issue. Then you come here and you say, oh, open and annotate with KME. Right? I've tried the Lumen and it doesn't even launch and I'm not exactly sure whether it's an option in our Google. It must be another add-on that we don't have, but we have KME added on. Now, please understand. This KME is the free version. Our district has not paid for the full licensed version. So we are not like signing into KME. We do not have individual KME accounts. So we're just gonna use our free version that comes with the add-on. So when you do that, either way works. I can either annotate and open with KME or I can come over here and click open with KME. Now it says to me, oh, you're not logged into KME. Mine's doing on that because I was like, geez, I just logged in like two minutes ago. It should do this. I don't need the OCR because I'm not going to be taking Word, Word documents and having to try to read it. So I'm just going to put no thanks. Now that I'm in KME and I'm just going to move my little cord screen over here, get out of the way. I've got all this as my um, menu bar. Okay. If I'm in something that I need to annotate, then I would come in and I'd annotate it um, and say, you know, I would put a little text box and I could put where I want to write the text and then I could type my answer in with a text box. So there are some worksheets that I'll be like, oh yes, I want you to type in your answer using KME because it's a PDF, it's a picture of something. I don't have a Google document for you to type in. And that's why I'm spending a little time on this because there's different ways that you use it. Okay, so if I want to get rid of this text box, then you hit remove or delete. And I'm like, there we go. Here we go. You also have this drawing function. The drawing function works really well if you have. Uh, a tablet, a laptop that can serve as a tablet and you can write on the screen. If you have the plain old Chromebooks that are issued, you're going to have to use your mouse. So I'm using my little mouse. Um, so I'm just going to sit here and I can write in here on the draw function. Now it's a pain and I know your signatures won't be completely correct, but you could do that. If you want to erase, you hit the erase and go, I want to start over again. And it takes it in, in um, strokes. So on the last thing to get rid of it. So you can see how I had to do it in stages. Okay, so basically the two things I'll ask you to do is a text box 
and um, our draw. You can highlight. So there's a markup where you say, oh, I want to highlight. And if I want to highlight, I believe there is, uh, it says text highlighter. And then you can come over and say, oh, I'm going to highlight that. Highlight yellow. It's just a little bit excessively slow right now. But this is an option. You should be able to do it. It's not doing it on my screen. Okay. Um, there's a box highlighter, so I guess the box highlighter works more like a highlighter where you draw a box around what you want it to be. Again, if I don't want that, I'm going to come and erase my box highlighter. Okay. There isn't a lot open. With If we really had the full version, you could take pictures and insert them, but you can do that into a Google Doc, or you can do that just by uploading a picture into your uh, Google Classroom by a submit button. Again, on this, and I'm not going to really screw around with it because this is part of your assignment. When you go to submit, it is a save now and then close out of it and then it's a turn in. You do not see the changes you've made on your Kami material. It won't show. But again, Kami is for using on PDFs when you have to annotate it, write on it, draw on it. Like I have a little stylus in my hand which you can't see, so if I want to draw on it, I can make a little picture here with my little stylus. And this is not my mouse, but I could use my mouse, but, you know, I'm making my little picture of my little kitty here that all the teachers are watching. So I'm doing mission. And then if I want to erase it, I have to do it bit by bit, stroke by stroke of what I'm doing with my stylus. Do finger draw if you want. All right, so that is Kimmy. When you're done, again, you always do save and come down to save now. Do not use, like, save into Kimmy because we don't have a signed in with Kimmy account. Now, for me, it's saying save now. I can tell you right now, this is saved under what's called my directory of forensics un, uh, unshared. So, in other words, if you go on my website, you won't get to this by clicking on forensics. This allow you to move things to different places and it'll bring up your drive. Where do you want to save it? Do you want to save it in a different place? So I might say, you know, I'm just going to save it right in drive and not have a folder. Or if I wanted, I could change the name of the folder and then I could have what I needed. Okay. Um, I'm not saving because I don't want to alter my original but you would hit save. Once you hit save, you close the KME. And then if you're in an assignment, you hit turn in. You still have to hit turn in though. Okay. And actually, do I have that? It's very slow right now. Wow, it is so slow. I'm going to try to get to my son's account. And they are going to still be logged in. And that way I can show you how to unsubmit. I always laugh because my son's at college, but he still can access his account. So if he has it linked, he's getting these little things that he's doing work. So I'm going to move him over to the classroom. In the previous video, if you looked at how to use Google Classroom, he submitted an assignment for me. And guys, again, you will always have your link up at the top under a topic in the classwork. Okay. Um, here's his thing, and he turns it in. So let's say he's like, oh, I did it wrong. This is where you come and you unsubmit it. Or I might give you a message saying, geez, you did that wrong. You didn't sign it correctly. You would hit unsubmit here. You would re edit whatever you wanted to edit, and then you would hit turn in again. So you can unsubmit something. I'm going to unsubmit it. 
done uncementing it. Right, so now um, I want to look at my PDF. Did I actually do it right? I'm going to open it with TME. It won't give you guys that message. It shouldn't give you that guys that message about how many teachers do that. As you can see, it keeps me saying, here's my old signature. Parent didn't sign it yet. And so that might be an issue. So we have the old parent sign it. Color. There's my signature. Okay. Now I want to say, oh, now I'm going to have to go back. I'm not going to turn this in. I'm going to save it. Right. So don't use the turn in because we don't have a PME account. Right. So all I did was save it, and then I'm going to close, and then. Close this preview. You will not see anything in that preview, and then I'll turn it back in again. And then I'll use the PDF to turn it in. Let's do it. Turn it. Okay. So remember, KME is for PDFs. That's what KME is for. 